Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna do a book review and um, I'm gonna give you all the information from goodreads.com and then we'll go from there. So today it's gonna be Hollywood Dirt by Alessandra Torre. Um, and again, all the info I'm gonna give you right now before I go after, you know, my review and my experience with it will be right after. So Cole Maston, abandoned by his superstar wife, Hollywood's perfect husband is now Hollywood's sexiest bachelor. Partying hard and screwing even harder. Watch out, Los Angeles. There's a new bad boy in town. Summer Jenkins, that's me. A small town girl stuck in Quincy, Georgia. I cook some mean chicken and dumplings, can bluff a grown man out of his savings in poker, and was voted most friendly my senior year. We were from different worlds. Our lives shouldn't have collided, but then Cole Maston read a book about my small town, and six months later, his jet landed on our dusty airstrip and he brought Hollywood with him. From the start, I knew he was trouble from our, for our town and for me. Um, the genres this belonged to would be romance, contemporary romance, contemporary, new adult, adult, and humor. This was written by Alessandra Torre, first published back in September 7, 2015. Um, just so you know, this is the first time ever I read the, um, information about the book. When I find an author and I've already picked up a book from them or books from them and I really enjoy it, usually I just pick one and then I'll test the story, the writing and all that. And if I enjoy that, I, the next time, um, I would purchase their books that I that I find or want to purchase them. Um, I usually don't really dig into the information about the book. I just, I just buy them. So, um, I, th again, this is the first time me reading that. Um, and I just found out today by reading this that this was made into a movie and it was released last year, 2017. Oh my god, so I'm gonna try and find that today. I don't know how I'm gonna find it, but I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna try and watch that today. So this is the cover of the book. This is supposed to be Summer Jenkins. And, okay. I was really iffy because I forgot what book it was. I started to read a YA or young adult book. It was a series. And it was basically about Hollywood and young adult and, you know, a, a lot of that. And it was just, not to be mean, but it was, it was terrible for me. Um, I didn't enjoy it. And it was rated really well at goodreads.com. It just, for me, it was, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like it. I didn't finish the first book and I just deleted all of the books that I, I know. And I bought all of them too. So... I don't even remember the name. I don't remember the author because I deleted all of them. I should probably put like, now that I think about it, I should probably put a folder on, on certain books that I just can't finish. Um, I'll try to finish them so I can make a review on them, but these are gonna be like not recommended books and I'll probably put it in there just so I can, I can remember because sometimes I kinda, I kinda try to even purchase um, the same, author's writing and I'll just notice you know on um like I'll just notice that oh I, I purchased their work like a year ago you know something like that and so I don't want to waste my money but um so I finished this late last night when I was in bed oh my god I love this book I love Alessandra Okay, that just made it sound like we're BFFs, which wouldn't be such a bad thing, but I love her work. I love her writing. I love every single book I read from this, from her, you know, from this person. And she is just amazing. Um, I kinda, when I, when I started to read it, just on how because I read, I read every day and I read pretty much like romance books every day. So I'm like, I already kind of know there's going to be, you know, kind of a match up here somewhere. And I kind of already had a feeling that it was going to be, it was going to be cold with summer. 
but I didn't know how that was gonna go and the journey to finding that was really nice on how they actually met and what happens after that. Very entertaining, pretty funny, really funny actually. Um, the writing was really good, the, the characters are really good, the story is really good, um, the chemistry is really good. Everything is great. Everything is just like, it, you put it in a blender and it comes out perfect. Um, when I got this book, it kind of insinuated this was going to be like a series or a two or a two-parter could be or a trilogy or something. But I think that there's only like a second book, not even a whole book. And I don't know what that's called. Um, let me just dive in there really quick just to see. A short story. Yeah, you know how sometimes sir, um, authors sometimes can have like a series and they'll have the short story in between or prior. I'm not really a big fan of those. Um, I just feel like sometimes it's a little rushed and lacking. And um, so I don't really want to gear door. I don't know if I will ever get this book. But, and it's called Soul. Um, which would be Hollywood Dirt 1.5. I just don't know if I'll ever get that. Um, just so you know, even without that, you're still going to love this book. I give this book 10 stars. I love this book so much. I give it two thumbs up. I completely, completely beg you to get this book. I love this so much. So just so you know, um... It's not really your, yes, it's a little bit of Hollywood story, but it's not in Hollywood. It's not saturated with a lot of Hollywood terms um, and culture, if that makes any sense. There's a little bit of it in there. I mean, I guess enough, but it's not like saturated where it's like, oh my God, you know, like sometimes like. I don't know like sometimes I'm that kind of part or that kind of um, just storyline is is not that interesting to me sometimes and and you know it can vary from person to person but this doesn't disappoint at all this is such a, a beautiful story it's funny it's fun it's exciting um, it made me gas, it made me laugh out loud, it, it made me smile a lot, um, it can make your skin burn, it is really good. If you guys have any, um, suggestions on books that have similar contents, context, similar writing, similar, um, similar genre, I would say, um, Feel free to give your give that information down below. I'd love to know what other books that you guys recommend based on me loving this book because I love it so much. I love Alessandra's writing and I would love to know other authors out there that um, has this style of writing as well and have other books. I would love to discover those. So if you have any of those ideas, even just one book or two, like I don't mind how many, feel free to that down in the comment section below. If you guys just want to chit chat and discuss about the book or just say hi, feel free to chat down below as well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.